Hi everyone, it's time for me to open up my May Ipsy glam bag. I'm so glad that you're here. I hope that you stick around and join me. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to have you guys stop in and spend a few minutes of your day with me. It means more to me than I can ever let you know. So thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. If you are new to my channel, I hope that you would consider hitting that little red subscribe button. Oh, I would love to have you come back and join me and get to, to know you and just share in the fun of being part of a YouTube community. But anyway, today we have got our Ipsy, the regular glam bag. Um, it costs $13 a month. You get, I think it's uh, $50. They say about $50 worth of product. It's usually deluxe size samples. Every now and then you do get a full size item. I did do that thing that they offered, so I signed up for the year. So right now mine costs $11 a month and it's just a fun way to get some samples and to try some new things and to get the cute little bag sometimes. So this, this time I did get the bag of the month so it's really cute, nice little floral design. It's got kind of like a rose gold zipper with the Ipsy insignia right there. And just a cute, cute little bag. Alrighty, so a lot of times we don't get the cards in here. Sometimes the cards are just generic like we get in the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. Um, but this time May does have it. Mine does have it. This is May 2022. And there's a little QR code to learn a little bit more. And again, mine does have the items that are in here. So I've got one full size item. The others are deluxe size samples. Alrighty, so you ready? Let's dig in and let's go. So the first thing that we have here is a perfecting primer. It says it's sugar. The colors kind of remind me of the bag. Just nice and spring and summery. And this is what the primer looks like. And it's upside down. Goddess of Flawless Perfecting Primer. And I dove, dove. I do love using primer. It kind of like smooths out your face, kind of smooths out some imperfections. Um, it does kind of go into my scars a little bit. So when I do put foundation on, it kind of sits, it kind of gives me a smooth canvas for the foundation to apply. I think it, um, if you've got larger pores, sometimes it helps kind of fill them in. And, um, doesn't clog them at all so the primers are really nice it just gives you a nice place this one's clear i was wondering what it was going to look like so it's clear it's like a clear gel no scent so that's good it kind of fe it feels nice it's uh it's like a thick serum but i can feel it already going into my skin so this is going to feel nice on. It's nice and smooth. It just kind of helps the foundation kind of go on your skin. Just like I said, it gives you a nice smooth canvas to go on. Um, next is eye an eye cream. And this is from First A Beauty. It's got ni niacinamide or however brightening cream. And even though this is a little tube, you don't really need too much for focus please you don't really need too much this one doesn't have a seal so just gonna take it there it goes whoops this one does have color to it and let's put it on see what it feels like it blends right in again no scent it just feels really nice so love eye cream this is going to last a little bit Love that. I'm going to use the primer. I'm going to be using this. Next, we have a fragrance, and this is from Kensi. It's called Rosy Bloom. It's a pretty packaging here. And again, this one's a deluxe size sample. Of course, you put stuff on your hands and then you wonder why you can't open things, right? Alrighty, so let's try this. Oops. 
It's really, really light. It could be like a really light rose scent. It's not strong at all. You can just kind of smell that alcohol and probably just until it dries. So we'll check and see what it smells like a little bit later. Next we have from Pink Lips Cosmetics. It's a Lumi Balm Lip. The tint it's called Fantasy. This is the full size item. Fantasy, you know it's going to be upside down. Pink lips. But it says pink lips, but it's not pink. It's kind of like a bronzy color. But it says it's a tint, so I don't know if this goes on this dark or because it's a tint, if it would be lighter than that. So I don't think I'll use this. If I see somebody else open this and they put it on and it's just a sheer coverage or something, I'll give it a try. Otherwise, it will go in a giveaway. And lastly, from Wonder Beauty, we have a Volume and Curl Mascara. So just fun to, I'm assuming that it's probably black. So yeah, so it's a nice little sample size. They make good little hostess gifts, a uh, little, if you have a guest coming over, just kind of put a little basket in the guest room or the guest bathroom just to have some things for them. Or if you wanted to try something for yourself before you go out and buy it, buy it for full price, it's a great way to try it out. If you're going on vacation and you just want to pack light, just kind of keeping things light, these sample sizes are perfect for that. Alrighty, so to recap, for my Ipsy Glam Bag, we got this cute little bag. We got the Wonder Mascara. We got the Pink Lips Tinted Lip Balm, maybe Tinted Lip Balm. We got the Sugar Primer. Going to love using this. That really did feel nice going on, nice and smooth. We got the First Aid, the eye cream. Gonna love using that. That was a, even though it was tinted, it uh, didn't show up at all. It just kind of blends right into your skin. Love using eye creams. And this Kenzie Rose Balm. And it's just, it's a really light rose scent, so it's nothing that's going to be overpowering. So it's just a really nice light fragrance, even kind of smells like something on the lavender side or something. Just very, very light. So that was everything in my Ipsy. I think this is short enough that I'm going to pause this and uh, grab the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. So I will be right back. Alrighty, so we are back with the Ipsy, the Glam Bag plus so this one cost a little bit more this one um i spent 25 because i signed up for the year but i believe it's 28 dollars. you if you get your email you get to pick out three items they pick out two for you it's five full-size products the average value they say is about 120 i've been well below that 120 i've been well above the 120 every now and then and i don't know why but both ipsy and boxycharm the same month they will email me to my YouTube address. I have never used that, my YouTube address with either Ipsy or BoxyCharm. I've always used my work email address. So for BoxyCharm this month and Ipsy, I did not get to do my choices because they sent it to my YouTube address again. And then next, like I've already got the email for June, which came to the, my work email address. So I don't know, I don't get it. So the choices may not have been what I would have picked. They may be what I would have picked because I don't know what my choices would have been. But they picked two for you, so let's do those right away. So they picked for me, um, it's a Rodial one. This is an Illuminating Primer Serum. And it's called Soft Focus Glow Drops. So it's a glow primer. It does come in a nice pink bottle here. So let's check this out. See how thick it is. So it is pink. Let's put a drop on. And yeah, so this should last quite a while, right? So it's a nice pink serum. It doesn't really have a scent. It just kind of goes on. Um, it's very liquidy and it's more like a serum. Um, the one that I just got in the Ipsy Glam Bag, 
the primer was like a gel it kind of sit in it kind of gave you that texture that you need to be the canvas so I don't know if this is really more like a serum than a primer but if it's a serum I'll be happy to use it the next item they picked from me is from Transluce Beauty and it's a highlighter duo oh so this had a value of sixty dollars this has a value of eighteen dollars and there is a mirror in here so let's cover that up and we got these two highlighters I'm not really good at using highlighter um, sometimes I just put it on like over my eyeshadow to kind of give it a, a glow or I put it over my lipsticks to kind of give my lips a little glow so I may or may not use this but again that is one they picked out for me well actually they picked all of them out for me the next thing they picked out was a hand lotion and this is Pear Nova it's a hydrating cream in coconut and eucalyptus um, value on this is $17.50 probably does have a seal on it and again it's just it's a hand lotion so I will more than likely use it just don't know if it's something that I would have picked out or not next I sent another primer and this one is from Jessica Black it's a hydrating primer so if I was picking it out I wouldn't have picked out another primer in the same box but it is what it is, right? It's still. This has a $20 value. And let's see if this is well. This one is sealed. Let me see if I get that thing off it to check it out. You know, I like a primer that feels thick. The Rodial one just kind of felt like a serum. It didn't really feel like a primer. Primer to me is something thicker that gives you that canvasy thing so let's see if the Jessica Black is better I've got another Jessica Black that I probably got from Ipsy um, but I use very sparingly because that one's like a glow primer so it is a primer but I usually mix it with my foundation because it gives you a little glow and you can probably tell the days I use it because my skin glows so this is like a nice cream Again, no scent, but it feels more like a primer. It feels thick. It feels creamy. It feels like this is what you put on to get that nice, smooth canvas before you put on your foundation. So this, I am going to use this. I'm loving that. Um, I think I'm going to end up using this like a serum. So this has a value of $20. And lastly is something I know I would have picked this out. Unless the choices next to it were really, really good. I would have picked this out. This is BU. It's a caffeine eye cream, firm and brighten. This has a value of eighteen dollars. Eye cream, focus please. Tends to last forever because you don't really use a lot. So hopefully, this doesn't have a little seal because it's little. Let's see what this looks like. So again, it's just another nice cream. So this has plumping hyaluronic acid. It's got caffeine extract. Helps to energize your eyes, make you look awake. You can use it morning and night. Okay, so this has a value of $18. So everything in my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus was $133.50. Again, I spent $25. I really can't complain. Um, I did get this product that I know I'm going to use. The Jessica Black. I know I'm going to use this primer. Hand lotion. I know I'm always going to use hand lotion. It is a nice size. Highlighter palette. I'm either going to use it as an eyeshadow or something on my lips to kind of give me some shining glow. And uh, yeah, so... Either this, I, I'm not really sure if it's a serum or a primer. If it is supposed to be both, I think I'll use it as a serum. But anyway, that's it. So I want to thank you guys for joining me. I'm just going to try to wrap up quick since I just, uh, I'm going to try to mix this with the Ipsy Glam Bag. I want to thank you guys so much for stopping in, spending a few minutes of your day with me. It means some more to me than I can ever let you know. So thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. Oh my gosh, so I hope you guys 
have a great week take care everyone stay safe be kind enjoy life have some fun and we will all chat again soon love you guys bye bye